Welcome to the Warley Motor Railway Club virtual event featuring Club Life, the exhibition and the exhibitors. We hope you enjoy this presentation. Well, hello everybody, welcome to PICO. Well, what a year it's been. It's certainly been a tough year for all of us. And uh, sadly, one of the uh, casualties for this year have been the exhibitions. Uh, it's a great shame that we're not gonna be able to meet you in person this year. So because of that, we've put on this special presentation for you. This will be an opportunity to see what we've been doing this year in terms of new products. You'll be able to see what we're currently working on and also what we're planning for the future. We're also going to give you a little sneak preview behind the scenes so you can see how Pico has coped with all the changes this year and how the factory have been able to continue production through some very difficult times. So without further ado, let's go and have a look and see what we've been working on this year. Okay, let's start with this new ratio kit. Now, with the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II, it seems very timely that we should produce a new kit based on the ARP wartime signal box. This hopefully will give you lots of inspiration for a new idea for a layout. Every successful modeler has to have a good workstation. These two new Pico Tools tool sets are the ideal starting point for you. Both sets contain some very good high quality tools. Let's have a look and see what you get inside.
We've sold hundreds of thousands of the famous PL10 turnout motor, possibly millions. It's certainly been the go-to turnout motor for generations of modelers. The good news is that motor is going to continue to be around for a long time yet. But there is a new kid on the block, the Peak Electric's twist lock. Let's go to Kevin to learn more. Each twist lock motor is supplied with a paper template. This allows you to determine the exact position of the holes needed to fix and install the motor. Once in line with the guidelines on the template, fix it in place with some tape. Then remove the turnout and keep to one side. Use a 0.5mm drill bit to make the holes on the two outer positions. Use a 6mm drill for the centre hole where the drive pin for the motor will fit. Now remove the template and fix your turnout in place. We are using Pico track pins in this instance. The twist lock turnout motor is designed to be quick and easily installed. No soldering, no complex wiring, just plain simple. An optional micro switch is available and this attaches to the motor in a similar way. The fixings are supplied with every motor, as you can see here. This includes the anchor point motor screws and the bar used for above board mounting if required. The motor is supplied pre-wired and the red and black wires are your power supply and the green wires are your common returns. Under the baseboard using the two small brass screws Attach the mounting stubs into the two outer holes that you have prepared using a screwdriver. Now it's just a simple task to engage the two hooks of the twist lock motor into the mounting stubs. Thread the motor's drive pin through the large center hole and through the hole in the turnout's tie bar. Then twist clockwise and lock into position. Now it's time to connect the motor to your power supply. Remember, if you wish to use a micro switch for switching frog polarity or indicating lights on a mimic board, or if you just want to use it for switching lights and signals, then simply twist and lock the micro switch into position. Test the motor to make sure it works properly. It's important you use a passing contact switch to operate the solenoid motor. The Pico PL26 switch is the best choice. Never use an on-off switch or you will damage the motor beyond repair. Now returning to the top side of the board, it is obvious that there is an excessive amount of pin protruding above the rails. Mark where the pin needs to be cut using a marker pen. Remove the motor and remove the excess metal. Here we're going to be using a cutting disc. Whatever you do, make sure you wear eye protection. And here you are, a fully working turnout with smooth running loco. It's really easy to install, the Pico Electric's twist lock turnout motor, and it gives you years of reliability and faithful service. The Pico Electric's turntable motor kit finally arrived this year. It's certainly proven to be very popular. It's designed to work with all Pico turntable kits and I have to say it's certainly a very smooth and quiet operator.
as you can see, we're quite good at scenic views here at Pico. Now, if you want guaranteed good weather on your layout, the new Pico Scene photographic back scenes might just be what you need. We've released several this year. Let's have a look and see what's available. The 009 model has got lots to celebrate this year. With the release of the new Festiog Railway bug box coaches, there's lots on offer. Two new liveries have been released this year. Let's have a closer look. And there's more to look forward to soon. We're making great progress with the Linton Advanceable 8-ton goods brake van. That'll go into production very shortly. There'll be two versions of this model, the open veranda and the closed veranda, in either the Linton Advanceable railway livery or the Southern Railway livery. There's also going to be the new quirky little Snail Beach District Tramway hopper wagon, and that'll be available very soon as well. So, although slightly delayed, we are still working away in the background on our other projects. We're working on the Festiog Railway Quarryman coaches and the Bogey Bowsider coaches and they'll be out later on in 2021. Our collaboration with Carter in Japan is also progressing well. The Small England 040 is going to be released in the early part of 2021 with Prince and Princess. 
going to be lovely little engines and they'll be the perfect uh, accompaniment to all our rolling stock. There's lots happening on the O scale front. With new structure kits in the Pico line side kit range, our first new Parkside O gauge wagon kit and the Pico set track starter set kit, there's lots to look forward to and it's an ideal time to be an O gauge modeler. Let's take a look at the Pico Lineside O-Gauge range of plastic kits. There are over 30 of them in the range, from the simplest of accessories to some very attractive and appealing structures. All add character, style and interest into your layout. At Pico we pride ourselves in the skill of tool making and plastic injection moulding techniques. We know that when you buy a Pico Lineside O-Gauge kit, you'll receive something of quality, integrity that you will enjoy to make. If you have not yet tried one of our kits, treat yourself and discover the pleasure of building a Pico kit. But we're not stopping there and we have some exciting plans for further kits and products. Here's what's on the way. The Lineside kit range would expand to include the iconic Great Western Pagoda building, LK707. The structure that graced many Lineside halts instantly recognisable as being of the GWR origin. These characterful little buildings were found right across the system. Modelling the GWR is of course, very popular, so we are sure that the kit will be a favourite with many modellers. Taking this GWR brick built example, once found at Tetbury as inspiration for our new kit LK706, this shed will easily provide room for one of your tank engines. The clever thing will be that the kit will be modular and easy to expand, so creating a larger structure will be possible with multiple kits. Finally, the third kit to come will be based on our existing wheel station halt already available in double O scale. These short wooden platform halts with their simple picket fences were an iconic way of providing facilities for small communities dotted around more rural locations. We can see the appeal of modelling a remote bucolic country branch line scene and hope you will find a home for one of these kits LK708 on your layout. The first new Parkside O-Gauge kit, PS116, will eventually arrive, I promise. Its development was delayed by the unexpected events of 2020, as was so much else in our new product development program, but we hope the wait will be worth it. And finally, for those budding O-Gauge modelers out there, we'll soon have a super starter set to get you on your way the ST701. Like our sets already available in N and O scale, the new O-Gauge set would include a selection of set track straights, curves and turnouts, plus buffer stops and a new wired straight to connect power to the track. The wired straight ST702 will also be available to buy separately. Unlike the other sets, this will not offer a circuit to track. Rather, it'll give you enough track to create a simple shunting plan, allowing you to shuttle around a handful of wagons and small engines. But of course, once you have this up and running, you can continue to add further track to your heart's content. It'll be the perfect way to start your journey in O-scale modeling. Magazine publishing has had its own set of challenges this year. We thank the thousands of you who stayed loyal and supported both the Railway Modeler and the Continental Modeler magazine throughout the summer. We hope you're enjoying the read. 
It was particularly exciting and uplifting for the Railway Model to be awarded Specialist Interest Magazine of the Year in the National Newspaper Magazine Awards in London earlier in the summer. A proud moment for all our colleagues in the Publications Department. Okay, here I am outside the front door of the factory. I'm going to go in there and show you what's happening in there. Then we'll take you up into the Picarama Gardens and you can see how we've adapted to these new strange conditions. When COVID-19 broke out and the country went into lockdown, the world for everyone changed quite suddenly. From that moment on, all normality ended and for us at Pico, that meant that we had to change the way we operated. Our factory did not allow for safe social distancing in accordance with government instructions, so we had to find a new way of operating. At the same time, you were all at home, busy building model railways. So when we came back after a pause in production, we were faced with an incredible uplift in demand for our products. So we had to respond. Fortunately, we had the benefit of the various buildings around the Picarama site being available. And as Picarama could not open, so we were able to relocate various departments into new temporary locations. So, for the rest of the year and into 2021, your turnouts and kits will be packed variously in the garden room restaurant, the station gallery and PlayStation, a novel but necessary repurposing of these buildings. What plans there are for Peak Armour in 2021 will be revealed next year. But for the time being, this is the new normal for us as we continue to cope with the incredible uplift in demand for our products. With all of us spending so much more time at home, it's obvious that creative activities such as model railways have become a very important distraction to the drudgery of day-to-day -day life. We'll be continuing to adapt to the situation so you can ensure that you have the products you need to enjoy this wonderful, mindful and creative hobby. We should mention our retailers and distributors around the world. They've done a fantastic job supporting us and supporting you, making sure that the products you need are there when you need them. It's been a tough time for everybody and they have weathered the storm very well and we're very grateful for their support. We hope that you'll continue to support them throughout the coming months and the year ahead. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching the programme and I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a great shame that we can't meet you personally this year, but we hope next year things will be better and we'll be able to see you at an exhibition somewhere. In the meantime, thank you very much for your patience, your understanding and support throughout the year. We wish you well and wish you a very Merry Christmas. Please stay safe and we'll see you soon and keep modelling. Thanks for watching this presentation. We would like to thank our sponsors and the exhibitors for supporting this event. If you require further information or useful links, have a look at the video's description. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you when we are back at the NEC on the 27th and 28th of November 2021.